All right, so this time around, we're going to do the uh, blanket ladder. It's a big thing lately, and uh, <clears throat> got this uh, going to be made for a friend of mine. She knows exactly what she wants. Great, super helpful. So I'm going to take you through some of the steps, and uh, oh, sneak peek. Oh, sneak peek again. So this is 100% uh, a single beer job. All right, so I got all my pieces cut, and uh, this person was very clear on what they wanted, which is great. Somebody who actually knows what they want is always going to make things a little bit easier. So they wanted the first rung at 18 inches from the bottom, and then uh, about a foot off of that. So what I did was I measured my 18 inches, and then measured a foot from it all the way up, set the other one next to it, squared up the bottoms, and then... Oh. Used a speed square to transfer the lines onto the second piece. That way they are both at the exact same height uh, when I go to put the rungs in between them. Hey, welcome back. I know it cuts between two videos there, but uh, this is actually like almost two weeks later because, you know, life gets in the way. This blanket ladder is 100% like an hour or two job. And uh, yeah, it's taken me a couple of weeks because, you know, things get in the way. <clears throat> we are ready to move on to uh, assembly though. So I've got my rails cut, I've got my rungs cut, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in through the outside. There's a couple of different ways you could do it. You could do pocket screws in the rungs into the sides. Uh, you could probably get away with finishing nails and some glue if you really wanted to, but I want to make sure this doesn't uh, fall down. Not that anybody's going to be stepping on it, it's going to be blankets, but um, I don't know. I sometimes overdo things. So because I'm drilling in from the uh, outsides, I don't want screw heads sticking out. So I'm going to need a countersink bit, which is what this thingy is. So it's basically just a normal drill bit that kind of leads the charge. And then this spirally dealy down here cuts a bigger hole that uh, actually allows the head of the screw to go in to the wood a little bit. You can either then fill those holes with plugs, um, wood filler, I wouldn't recommend that, or caps, which I'm going to be doing caps that look like this. Little, little mushroom caps there. So I'm going to be doing that uh, because I always like the look of those. Now, a cool thing with the countersink bits is if you only have, I don't know, half an inch, you can still use them because there's a little uh, adjustment screw on the side with an Allen key. You can loosen that and make your drill bit as long as you want. That shouldn't have been seductive. All right, and there she is assembled. Got uh, the countersunk holes all along here. And then I just lined them up on those marks that I had transferred. And uh, away she goes. There you go. I mean, like, the fire department could rescue a cat from a tree with this ladder. If the tree's six feet tall. And here it is, the uh, final product. Well, almost final product. Got yourself a nice little ladder. It's going to go sideways when I do this, so that's going to be dumb to look at. Anyways, that's how it ends up. Stain her up, throw some blankets on her, and you can make this any size you want. This person needed it small, so it's small. Uh, definitely a, a one beer job. You can do it nice and quick. You can do it out of scrap wood. You can kind of do it. This was like two two by fours, eight foot two by fours. So it's like three bucks, a two by four, four bucks, a two by four. Um, it's pretty simple, cheap, easy one, and uh, a lot of people seem to like these blanket ladders. So uh, we nailed it pretty good, and uh, I'm going to put the mushroom caps in the ends there, sand it up, and uh, call her a day. Grab a beer.